prove that sec 2a plus tan 2a is equal to cos a plus sine a over cos a minus sine a. So with the left hand side, we can rewrite the sec 2a as 1 over cos 2a, the tan 2a as sine 2a over cos 2a, and then we can combine those two fractions together, which is often what you want to do for proof questions. If you see two fractions, combine them together. That usually works. This over cos 2a. And now we have a few choices. The cos 2a can be expressed in different ways, in three different ways. So to figure out how we can rewrite that cos 2a, let's look at the right-hand side. So notice how if we were to multiply top and bottom by cos a plus sine a, well, looking at the bottom first of all, what we have here, this is the difference of two squares. When you multiply those two things together, you'll end up with the denominator will be cos squared a minus sine squared a, and that is the same thing as cos 2a. For the numerator, if we multiply this by this, what we end up with is sine squared a plus cos squared a plus 2 sine a cos a. And that is the same as what we have here. The sine squared a plus cos squared a is just 1. So for the left hand side, we can rewrite this as so the 1 becomes sine squared a plus cos squared a the sine 2a becomes 2 sine a cos a. And the denominator, as mentioned earlier, becomes cos squared a minus sine squared a. This is our right-hand side, and that proves the identity in part a. For part b, hence solve between 0 and 2 pi, sec 2 theta plus tan 2 theta is equal to a half. So I'll just rewrite that. So what we see on the left-hand side is the same as what we see here. So that means that we can express, it says hence in the question, so you want to use the previous part. We can express what we see over here, the sec 2 theta plus tan 2 theta, as this. So let's do that. Cos plus sine over cos minus sine. Cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta minus sine theta is equal to a half. Rearrange, bring this to the right, bring this to the left. We end up with 2 cos theta plus 2 sine theta is cos theta minus sine theta. And then rearrange this, we get cos theta is equal to minus 3 sine theta, bringing this to the left, this to the right. Now I can divide everything by cos. So 1 is equal to minus 3 tan theta. So then tan theta is minus a third. We're solving between 0 and 2 pi. Inverse tan of minus a third is minus 0 0.322. And then we can add pi as a tan graph repeats itself. Every pi radians add pi, we get 2.820. Add pi again, we get 5.961. And our answers need to be between 0 and 2 pi. So then these would be our two final answers. We would disregard the first one.